Hello, in this section, we will be taking simple equation. Simple equation is the general way of representing a relationship between a set of variables or constants. And the um, equation tells us that the expression on the right side is equal to that on the left side. For example, 2x plus 5 is equal to 7. 2x plus y is on the left side of the expression and um, it is equal to 7 on the right side of the expression. x is a variable, y2, 5, and 7 are the constants. Let's look at some examples on that simple equation. Example 1, x plus 3 equals 12. We want to solve for x, we collect like times, then x equals 12 minus 3. Then our x is 9, which means 9 plus 3 equals 12 when we substitute x for 3. Then in example 2, y minus 7 equals 11. To solve for that, y equals 11 plus 7 when we collect like times, then our y is 18. In example 3, 5x plus 3 equals 13. Or we'll collect like times, we have 5x equals 13 minus 3. Then we have 5x equals 10, 13 minus 3 equals 10. Then when we divide both sides by 5x equals 2. Do you understand that? Let's move to example 4. 3x minus 3 equals x plus 5. Now I want to show that the expression on the left side is equal to the expression on the right side. So we we'll collect like times and we have x when the x comes here it becomes minus here. So 3x minus x equals 5 plus 3. Then 2x equals 8. We divide both sides by 2 then our x equals 4. To check that, we can see 3 multiplied by 4, which is 12 minus 3. That is 9. Then equals to 4 is x is 4. So 4 plus 5 equals 9. So we can see that the expression is equal. That is what simple equation tries to do. Then we have example 5. 4x plus 2. 4x into bracket x plus 2 minus 3 equals 21. What we do is we open the bracket first, which means we multiply 4 by what is what we have in the bracket. Then 4 multiplied by x equals 4x plus 4 multiplied by 2 equals 8 minus 3 equals 21. Then 4x plus 8 minus 3 is 5 equals 21. Then we we'll we collect like times 4x equals 21 minus 5, 4x equals 16. Then we divide both sides by 4, then our x equals 4. You can input 4 into the equation to see if we'll still have 21. Then we can also generate simple equation from word problem. We'll see that from the following example. In example 6, if a number is twice y divided by 6 find y if the number is 5 so we have to write the expression down we said the number is twice y minus 6 which means 2y divided by 6 equals 5 because 5 is the number then we collect like times 2y equals 5 multiplied by 6 then our 2y equals 30. We divide both sides by 2. Then the y equals 15. In example 7, suppose Jadis grandfather's age is 6 times Jadis age plus 8. If the grandfather is 62, find Jadis age. When we want to solve for that, we let Jadis age be y. Then when we want to write the expression, we have 6y plus 8 because the father the grandfather is 6 times plus 8 so we have 6y plus 8 equals 62 then we, when we collect 
the like times 6y equals 62 minus 8. Then 6y equals 54. When we divide both sides by 6, our y equals 9, which means that is, is 9 years old. In the example here, the number of oranges is twice of the number of apples. Please take note of that. The number of oranges ranges is twice the number of apples if there are 200 fruits in the baskets find the number of apples and oranges so we want to solve for that we let we represent a apple by a so let apples be a then oranges will be since it is twice apple oranges will be equals to 3a so our expression is that 3a that is 3 times apple which is orange plus a equals 20 then we know that we have 4a equals 200 when we divide both sides by 4 our a is 50 then since orange is twice of apples then orange equals 3a then 3 multiplied by 50 equals to 150 therefore there are 50 apples and 150 oranges in the baskets. In summary, we've learned about solving any simple equation in this section and we've seen different kind of expressions and how they can be solved. But generally, if you have any other questions you can leave your hand up these are just the simple steps you can follow to solve any simple equation the first is that you simplify your bracket fraction etc if required so the board mass rule also applies in simple equation you solve your brackets first you will check for the half the division then the multiplication the addition before the subtraction that is how simple equation is also carried out then bring all the items containing the variables on one side every item that has the variable you bring them to preferably your left side then all your constants those whole number without the variables take them to the right side of the equals to then you solve the equation obtained in the step two to get the value of your variable so Behind this section, you have the practice question you can take and you can also check for other practice questions. Mm -hmm.